everyone no guts no glory welcome back yes I'm back with tag number two that I was tagged to do <clears throat> excuse me I was tagged by Tony over at creative Chica Halls I will link her down below send her some love tell her I sent you over make sure to check her out but she tagged me in a tag says get to know me tag and it was created by life with Patty but she tagged me and let's go ahead and jump right in the first question what is your name and who named you my name is Kathy and that's with a C not a K my mother named me after she this is what she told me she named me after a dear friend of hers named Kathy so that's who I was named after and who named me <clears throat> number two how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers. And then my sister, Cynthia Ann. Oh gosh, I wish she had lived. She died when she was about six or seven months old. And I was six, I believe, five or six at the time. And I can remember holding her and yeah. Uh, number three. Were you close with your cousins growing up? Yes, I sure was. Number four, and I should say, I shouldn't say, I, sh I sure was then, but I still am now. Number four, did you or do you have a special bond with your grandparents? I did, but they are all deceased, all of them, mother and father side. Number five, did you enjoy high school? Nope, I sure didn't. Nope, didn't like it at all. Number six, what are your hobbies? Well, YouTube is number one of them. Shopping is number two. Um, and writing down in my journal all of my thoughts. Those are my hobbies. Uh, number seven, what do you do to relieve stress? Shop. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Number eight, who is the longest friend you had? You have. I would have to say <clears throat> that would be Cindy. We still call each other to this day. Matter of fact, I just talked to her about a week ago. Um, she lives in Ohio. And I've known her when Brad was in the military. So, let's see. We've been here in this house, and he's been reti retired now 25 years. But then I knew her when we were way, so I, way in the military years ago. So, I don't know, 35, 40 years, 35 maybe? That's how long. And we're still good friends today. Let's see, number nine, what is your favorite movie? Well, I could tell you my favorite kinds of movies. I love horror movies and I really can't pick out any one in particular because there are too many, so many that I like, uh, but I love horror movies. Number 10, what is your favorite book? Oh, I don't know, I love Stephen King. And he has so many good ones out there. Um, there's Bag of Bones. There's um, Pet Cemetery. There's, he's just got so many, but so I can't particularly just pick out one book. Number 11, favorite thing to do on a stormy day. Just sit with my hubby and we watch Netflix and movies and pop some popcorn and and just, yeah, enjoy each other's company. And that's what we do on a stormy day. Sometimes if the weather's permitting, as far as temperature goes and it's not cold, it's nice and warm, but it's rainy, sitting out on the back porch, the two of us, that's nice and listening to the rain and the, yeah, that's nice also. Number 12, uh, favorite thing to do when the weather is perfect. We just love to go out for a nice country drive. Windows down, nice breeze. Yeah, we'll go to a park, something like that. Just 
yeah, just getting out and enjoying the beautiful weather. Uh, number 13, do you prefer the big city or small town? Small town, we've done big cities all over. Because <laughs> you know, he, when he was in the military, we've lived in some big, pretty big cities every time we moved every four years and stationed. You know, we've lived in Louisiana, uh, we lived in California, we lived in Michigan, uh, Texas. So in the big city areas, because obviously, you know, where there's a military base and stuff. So had my fair share and then I was born in New York City. So I'm done with big cities. <laughs> I really like this country life. So small town country life. Number 14, what is the first thing you want to do when this virus is under control? That would be to see my all my my kids, my grandkids, my mother, to be able to go in and see my father-in-law, to give everybody a big hug. Oh, just yes. And I'm supposed to have a meet up with Catherine. Hi, Catherine. And we haven't been able to even plan that because of what's going on. Give her a big hug. Uh, yes, just some contact with other people and stuff. So those, yeah, just to get out and visit with family and friends. So that's what I want to do. All right. And I believe that is it. That was the tag. So again, not going to really tag anyone. Anybody who wants to do it, go ahead and do it. Um, I tag you. I'll point at you. You, 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 and you. Yeah. You do the tag. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Got to come back yet doing some more videos. You're going to see the mister here in a little bit. We'll be doing one together. But, yeah, we're still wearing the same thing because today's a good day. And we're going to kick these videos out and get them done. So, remember to always let go like God. No guts, no glory. God bless us all. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.